Uh, hello YouTube, this is GokuSJ4. Another RuneScape video today, sorry, but it's been two weeks since my last video, and in order to remain consistent with what I said two videos ago when I was sick, I still am sick by the way, I, I don't I don't even know, I, I don't even know why I'm still sick, but in order to remain consistent, gotta put out a video today. So, um, I'm almost 9 out of agility, if you look me up, very close, probably getting it tonight if I don't like go do something else for three hours or something. I'm, I'm close. Um, and I have a beard because I pretty much haven't shaven since I got sick. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have to excuse that. Um, what was I going to say? Don't you hate that? Don't you hate that? I don't even want to start the video over. I don't. Um, and this is going on Keyless Boy. This isn't going on my fridge is booking it. That's like the channel for stupid crap, and this is kind of stupid. But I wanted... I'm close to not nah, nah, agility. Yeah, you know that. Uh, I'm not gonna have a party. You know, it's, it's just RuneScape parties. Meh, 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 meh. But you will see me get it. So I was going to tell you to s pretty much spam up people that had uh, similar sub counts to me that made RuneScape video, so I can fight them. But that's a bad idea, and I realize it's a bad idea. Don't spam anyone. The question is, if you know of anyone, because I don't watch many RuneScape videos, so I personally don't really know, but if you know of anybody who you want me to, to fight in Goku Straight 4 versus insert name here, um, let me know. Um, do it through comment or, or PM or whatever. Uh, let me know. Uh, pretty much the qualifications are, I don't know, uh, I said before in the original take, uh, 3 to 20k subs. Let's, let's make it in that ballpark. Well, let me know who they are, and maybe I'll send them a PM and maybe get something going. No promises, obviously. They don't have to accept. But I do want to do more Goku Straight 4 versus videos, and I think it would be cool to fight a bunch of people who are, are, are at my level, excuse me, of subscribers. Um, probably better PKers than me. I don't know. I don't really PK anymore. But once again, do not spam anyone telling them, fight Goku, fight Goku. Please, no. No, that, that's a bad idea. I don't know why I said that in the original take. But let me know. Spam me. Give all the spam to me. <laughs> so uh, I'll I'll take the spam and uh, maybe message some guys about. Hey, you know I'm I'm doing this series. I asked my fans, slash subscribers, slash viewers, trying to be as politically correct and non-offensive as possible. I asked my loyal subjects to um, give me names of people who make PK videos who have similar sub counts to me and they gave me your name and uh, you wanna fight on video and plug each other and both be happy ever after and get like a hundred subs each and be like happy face and then they'll be like hey I'll be a happy face and then we make videos and we're both happy face so that's pretty much the story uh, do not spam anyone once again I, I don't know why I said to spam people in the original cut but then again you don't see the original cut so why am I talking about the original cut I should not be I wanted to take this opportunity to um, give you a little bit of insight into the type of videos I watch. You see, oh, by the way, the, the blue face, the blue face, it's like, when I, I, I was wondering why this camera made my face look blue, and I realized that it's the desktop background that's blue. But uh, aside from that, aside from that, as I was saying, I wanted to uh, give you guys a little bit of an insight into videos I watch while you're watching my video, so you can watch while you watch. Exhibit's not that bad of a rapper. He's just he's just more funny as a meme. But anyway, ah, but um, I, I need to look into more of his stuff. But um, <clears throat> get away from the blue face. Okay, in all this 240p glory that is my webcam, and if it's 360p, I'm gonna sound stupid. But thus is random video making on a whim. I want to give you guys an insight into the type of videos that I like to watch. And instead of just saying, oh, I like to watch Sexy Phil, and I like to watch Ray William Johnson. But anyway, instead of saying, you know, I watch the top ten, I decided to, uh, and I had this idea for a while, to pick out ten people that I watch that have less subs than me. To give them a plug, to give them a boost, and uh, if you're interested in these type of things, you can watch them too. Now, uh, as you can see, first off, Castor012. I have plugged him before. Great, great guides. Uh, of course, probably not the best guides on YouTube anymore. I know I've said in the past, if you're a long-time subscriber, that he's the best guides on YouTube. I don't watch that many RuneScape videos, so I can't say. But his guides are pretty good, although they are old, so uh, they might be outdated. A lot of them are outdated, but they're still really, really in like in depth and uh, math heavy. Secondly, optimal commentaries. Um, 
it's it, it's funny. It, it's funny. These guys are the reason I made commentaries. I, I I wasn't even trying to like get quote unquote known or famous. I don't want to say I'm famous. I'm I'm not that famous in, in, on YouTube, but um. I don't know what happened. It was it was late '08, early '09, and I was watching a lot of commentary-related videos, and I stumbled upon their channel. I started watching their crap, and uh, yeah, they make a variety of video game commentaries, and they have 142 subscribers, which is, which is a crime considering how I have 11k subs now, and I only made commentaries after seeing their commentaries. So please check these guys out. Thirdly. Gaming Eagle 19, also someone that I like to watch a lot. Uh, not really, not really an influence on my videos, but uh, a personal favorite vlogger of mine, who I agree with a lot politically. He only, he doesn't really talk about video games, by the way. This is kind of the gaming section. I don't think I mentioned that, but I thought it, and I kind of just thought that I mentioned it since I thought it. But I'm gonna shut up about that. Um, makes vlogs mainly. Uh, talks about politics. Talks about um, gaming. I agree with 90% of what he says. Interesting guy. Um, chubby. I'm chubby too. So what? What are you going to do? Um, moving on. Cool guy. I watch a lot of his videos. Moving on with the gaming theme. Actually, five of these are gaming related since you know, I, I do watch a lot of gaming stuff. I do not know how to pronounce this, but he's formerly Tom Dog uh, for something, something. Uh, I don't want to open the word pad. I'm just going to sound stupid. Uh, another gaming channel. Does a lot of reviews. Does some gaming-related rants. And even some pol politics-related rants. Um, once again, another good gaming channel. Have not watched him as much as I've watched the previous guy. But also, but still, still a very uh, logical person. He sounds like he's pissed off a lot. But uh, he gets that a lot also. He's not pissed off. Trust me. He's not that mad. I, I, I actually commented. I was like, oh, he's only get pissed off all the time. He's like, oh, I get that a lot. No, he's, uh, he's very interesting to watch. And his gaming-related videos aren't about these mainstream games most of the time. A lot of them are about games that you've never really heard of. So it's actually really interesting to watch. Moving on. Number five. Swag Show. Um, associated with this other guy that I used to watch that has more subs than me. So I'm not going to mention. Once again, this is people with less subs than me. But Swag Show has very interesting videos. He does movie reviews. He does game reviews. He does uh, what he's mainly known for, which would be uh, swag. Not in the sense of, you know, Soldier Boy swag, but in the sense of uh, more of a, a white use for the word, if, if I could say white as, as, a, as an adjective. Um, like getting free stuff from conventions. What he is is he's... He's involved in gaming media, and he goes to conventions, and he gets free stuff, and then he shows off the free stuff. He also does gaming-related videos, as I said, but that's mainly what he's known for. He's not this, you know, soldier boy wannabe swag guy. Don't get me started with that stuff. Number six, moving away from gaming stuff, Asian MMA, formerly Mr. ISIB. I don't know if any of my current viewers used to watch him, but he used to make RuneScape videos. He moved on to have a humble channel of 658, hopefully 1,000 after I plug him, but I highly doubt it. I don't know. He deserves more subscribers. And he makes videos about, well, MMA. And he's Asian. So uh, he should automatically have a million subscribers, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, very on point. Makes a lot of sense what he's talking about. Knows way more than me about MMA. And frankly, I'm into the sport, so I like watching his videos. Number seven. Are we on seven? Seven. Chaos Torrent. Oh, I wasn't at the top of the channel. Fail. But, uh, yeah, there's there's a bunch of uh, Pokemon card opening videos, and I am not huge into Pokemon cards, although when I was a child, I was. And watching Pokemon card openings is actually pretty interesting for me. So this is someone that I like to watch, and even rewatch, um, just just to get that old feeling of opening, opening cards as a kid, you know. Uh, it was really interesting. And even right now, there's a lot of people, I'm sure, who, who are legitimately into it, like this guy. It's cool. I have no problem with it. And uh, very interesting videos. Opening Pokemon cards, and let's see what you get. That whole that whole rush of seeing what you get is is always is always great, and it's cool to watch. Number eight, and here we are uh, moving away from we 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 did gaming the first five, and then we did an MMA related thing, which is random. Then we did Pokemon, and now we're moving on to uh, more religious videos. Uh, anybody who knows I'm a Christian, and I don't really hide it. It's right there on my channel. Um, these are three guys that I watch. First of all, Rational Roundtable. Um, very logical, very objective. Um, not much of a preaching channel, although there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of what he does is uh, he converses with people, uh, Christian and atheist. Uh, I don't. It seems to be only Christian and atheist, although there's a lot of 
conversation with other people of other religious affiliations on YouTube. Um, very good, very cool guy. Don't agree with him on every <clears throat> topic. Um, I disagree with some of what he says, but still, very, very interesting to watch if you're into this kind of debate. Number eight, uh, nine, nine, eight, nine, nine, and um, very controversial, Nephilim Free. I also agree with a lot of what he says. Of course, he's on like the opposite spectrum of Christians from Rational Roundtable, but I actually, uh, I almost agree more with what he says than with what Rational Roundtable says. Um, interesting videos to watch. Um, a lot of debates, a lot of like hour-long debates on his channel. If, if you want to get into that kind of stuff, that's that's cool to watch. A lot of um, counterintuitive, counterintuitive ideas. A lot of stuff like that that I think he really probably should have more subs for because a lot of people with a lot more subs talk about him. And number ten, rounding it up, another Christian that I watch, another Christian vlogger who talks about logic a lot. He, he He's into logical fallacies. He's into talking about um, the specifics of uh, logic and logical fallacies and morality and objective morality. He's also a Christian. He's more rational roundtable than Nephilim Free. He's more on the, uh, I suppose, would you say to the left? I, I, I don't know. It's not really a political thing. But, um, you know, once again, I, I don't fully agree with any of these guys. I have my own opinions. But, um... Another guy that's interesting to watch, and I would say deserves more subscribers, especially since he puts a lot of work into his videos. He did this one video where, you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it. He has like a post-it board in the back, and he has like a bunch of post-its. Oh, you see better on this one, where he has ideas for videos. And uh, very, very smart kid, very smart kid, in uh, as far as philosophy and logic is concerned. And yeah, those are the 10 channels that I chose to show you that have less subscribers than me, that I watch, that I think you should watch if you're interested in them. Of course, the first five being gaming-related, an MMA uh, vlogger, Pokemon card opening, and a couple of the uh, Christian-based channels that I personally watch. Of course, I watch more of pretty much all of this uh, type of stuff, except for the MMA and the Pokemon card. I don't watch that much more of Pokemon cards. But um, these are the guys that have less subs than me and I think deserve more recognition.